The SMU Mustangs have come a very long way since Larry Brown took over two seasons ago. They are now nationally ranked in the preseason polls and are expected to lead the way in the American Athletic Conference. Many people have wondered how this newly formed conference consisting of Big East and Conference USA teams would fare, but the national champion UConn Huskies came out of it last season. This year, SMU will show their worth in what some still consider a mid-major conference. The team has three returning starters coming off a 27-win season, and they made it to the NIT Championship game a season ago. SMU was 27-10 straight up and went 20-2 on their home court with decent against the spread results. Overall, in line games, they were 20-14 against the spread and 14-7 and against the line in Dallas. But the road numbers were what most of us has come to expect from NCAA road teams, 7-8 straight up and 6-6 six and six against the spread. SMU was an under team when it came to the totals, bringing their defense to another level all season, going 9-18 and on the over-under and putting them in the upper echelon in the nation with their scoring defense and rebounding ability. The Mustangs used last year as a growing process, learning how to work together and communicate, and had one of the best defenses in the nation, ranking in the upper portion in most defensive categories. This team felt a bit snubbed by not getting an at-large bid for the big dance, which many expected them to grab, but used the NIT the right way and now have a bigger goal. Much was made of the number one ranked recruit, Emmanuel Mudai, deciding against coming to SMU to go to play in Italy. And he might regret it because he will now not get the Larry Brown experience to help him get there. This team is absolutely loaded in the backcourt with four returning guards who all saw plenty of playing time last year. And as a result of Brown rotating everyone and keeping fresh legs on the court as often as possible. Nick Moore returns following up his all AAC honor with Sterling Brown, who started 26 games last year and is an integral part of the team's defensive numbers. Keith Frazier shot the doors off the three last year, shooting 40% as a freshman. The most experienced senior in the backcourt is Ryan Manuel, who was here before Coach Brown got here and hopes to see more time in the rotation. The front court is also loaded. Marcus Kennedy was already a monster up front, so why not add two senior transfers to help him? Xavier's Justin Martin and Texas Tech's Jordan Tolbert both were double-digit scorers last year. For size and depth, the 6'11 Yannick Morera returns from his partially torn MCL to relieve Kennedy in the middle, with another 6'10 senior, Cannon Cunningham, who helps to fill in the paint. If you're looking for tickets to any of this year's home games, forget about it. They're completely sold out, so you might want to catch this team in a town near you.